prologue after some days of rest, my restless heart to finish what's begun, new thoughts impart, and mog are all resolves, my fancy wrought is forth to father three, now might be brought, shortness of time and inability, will force me to a confused brevity. Yet in this chaos, one shall easily spy the vast limbs of a mighty monarchy, what ear is found a mistaken good part, as faults proceeding from my head, not heart. Stout Romulus, Rome's founder, and first king, whom Vestal Rhea to the world did bring, his father was not Mars as some devist, but Amulus in armor all disguised, thus he deceived his niece, she might not know the double injury he then did do. Where shepherds once had coats and sheep their folds where swains and rustic peasants kept their holds, a city fair did Romulus erect, the mistress of the world, in each respect, his brother Remus there by him was slain, for leaping over the wall with some disdain. The stones at first was cemented with blood, and bloody half it proved, since first it stood. This city built and sacrifices done, a form of government, he next begun, a hundred senators he likewise chose, and with a style of patras, honored those his city to replenish, men he wants, great privileges then to all he grants, that will within those strong built walls reside, and this new gentle government abide. Of wives there was so great a scarcity, they to their neighbors sue for a supply, but all disdain alliance, then to make, so Romulus was forth this course to take, great shows he makes a tilt and tournament, to see these sports, the Sabins all are bent, their daughters by the Romans then were caught, then to recover them a field was fought, but in the end, the final peace they come, and Sabins as one people dwelt in Rome. The Romans now more potent gin to grow, and Fetinates they wholly overthrow. But Romulus then comes unto his end. Some feigning to the gods he did ascend, others the seven and thirtieth of his reign, affirm, that by the senate he was slain. Numa Pompilius. Numa Pompilius next chose the king, held for his piety some sacred thing, to Janus see that famous temple built, kept shut in peace, set up when blood was spilt religious rites and customs instituted, and priests and flamens likewise he deputed, their augurs strange, their gestures and attire, and vestal maids to keep the holy fire. The nymphageria this to him told, so to delude the people he was bold, forty-three years he ruled with general praise, accounted for a god in after days. Tullius Hostilius. Tullius Hostilius was third Roman king, who martial discipline and use did bring, war with the Andean and Albans he did wage. This strife to end six brothers did engage. Three called Horatii on the Roman side, and Curiotii three Albans provide, the Romans conquer, father yield the day, yet in their compact, after false they play. The Romans soar incensed, their general slay, and from old Alba fetch the wealth away, of Latin kings this was long since the seat, but now demolished, to make Rome great, thirty-two years did Tullus reign, then die, left Roman wealth, and power still growing high. Ancus Martius. Next Ancus Martius sits upon the throne, nephew unto Pompilius dead and gone, Rome he enlarged, new built again the wall, much stronger, and more beautiful withal, a stately bridge he over Tiber made, of boats and oars no more they need the aid. Fair Ostia he built this town, it stood close by the mouth of famous Tiber Flout, twenty-four years time of his royal race, then unto death unwillingly gives place. Tarquinius Priscus Tarquin a Greek at Corinth born and bred who from his country for sedition fled, is entertained at Rome, and in short time, by wealth and favor doth to honor climb, he after Martius' death the kingdom had, a hundred senators he more did add. Wars with the Latins he again renews, and nations twelve of Tuscany subdues, to such rude triumphs as young Rome then had, some state and splendor did this Priscus add, thirty-eight years, this stronger born, did reign, and after all, by Ancus' sons was slain, Servius Tullius. Next Servius Tullius gets into the throne, ascends not up by merits of his own, but by the favor and the special grace of tranquil laid queen, obtains the place. He ranks the people into each degree, as wealth had made them of ability, a general muster takes, which by account, to eighty thousand souls then did amount. Forty-four years did Servius Tullius reign, and then by Tarquin Prisca's son was slain. Tarquinius Superbus the last king of the Romans Tarquin the Proud, from manners called so sat on the throne, when he had slain his foe. Sextus his son did most unworthily, Lucretia force, mirror of chastity, she loathed so the fact, she loathed her life, and shed her guiltless blood with guilty knife her husband sore incensed to quit this wrong, with Junius Brutus rose, and being strong, the Tarquins they from Rome by force expel, in banishment perpetual to dwell, the government they change, a new one bring, 
and people swear ne'er to accept a king.